Hi, so welcome back to this channel. Um, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video on on here, as you can see. So one of the reasons I haven't uploaded is I was in the process of like moving the house, hence the new background and everything like that. Um, there, there's quite a bit to say. So like since the last upload and this upload, I had gotten a job which Let's face it, I didn't really enjoy. And after that, I got another job and I started that now on Monday. Today is Sunday, so by the time this comes out, I will be at my work. <laughs> this video is going to just explain like everything that has happened in the past while, on top of the fact that I got another wedding client and I'm incredibly excited. So I had the phone call yesterday to talk through the details. And what I'm gonna talk about now is what I plan to do. So it's going to be out in like more of the country, uh, opposed to like a big city wedding. So I'm going to both scout out everywhere that they want photos taken so I can get things like settings for the day. I can get like hidden spots if they don't know where they're looking to get photos taken. I'm also just going to get the feel of the land if that makes sense to you guys so that I can get as like much photos without walking around and trying to find spots. So I'm going into this wedding with the knowledge of the wedding I've done previously and what needs to be done. So I do have one of those checklists and I'll be marking off everything, every shot that I ever take and at the end of the day, I will have a complete checklist and I can say to the client, um, everything has been finished and if they want any additional photos, I can give it to them. Price was like a big thing for me. So when I first priced my first wedding, I tried to undercut a lot of photographers. Um, that's just because I'm only stepping into the wedding game. So I have to kind of offset my price to sort of compensate for the lack of experience. My first wedding, I undercut a lot. And when I started to edit the photos and do uh, things like that they're making the online gallery, it I realized then it wasn't worth the money. And so this time I give them a different figure, a slightly higher figure, and they agreed to it. And that's what um, I was happy with. And we both agreed to the price. We both agreed to the deposit, which is something I didn't do in my last one either. Um, so we have a deposit coming. We have an agreement to the amount and everything else in between that. So um, all the details are finalized, all the... Uh, wedding albums are finalized. Um, I just need to buy them and make them up for them. Um, they also wanted like a USB and I have explained to them because um, my background is in like the IT and just common knowledge really that USBs can feel on you. So I, I informed them that I'll be making an online drive as well so that they always have access to the photos. So Coming down to the wedding, um, I'm pretty excited for it and everything that I did learn uh, from my previous wedding um, will definitely be incorporated into it, but more of the wedding videos will come <laughs> will come um, soon, like everything about the wedding, sorry. Um, but for now, I'm pretty excited about this house. Um, it's the first house I ever kind of owned anyway. and. It has yet to be finished, and but everything's fallen into place. We recently got the broadband up and working, and we got everything unpacked. There is one room left to unpack. Um, all the animals <laughs> are down, as you can see this little one. So one of the biggest features I absolutely love about this place is the fire. So I'm from the country, not the city and where I'm from we have a fireplace and I just I love fires um, I just think they're really nice at night and so we have when we viewed the property um, we seen that there was a fireplace well there's two but one is blocked off um, and so I was ecstatic about that and straight away was ordering everything from the logs to coals um, 
So I was really excited about lighting the first fire in our own home. Um, but for a while, we were still getting used to everything. So we had to still get the TV sorted. We had to get groceries in, everything about that. So everything's fallen into place now. And now that I have this own, my own sort of space, I can actually start making these more more frequently, these videos and things like that. So that's a pretty exciting sort of chapter that I can do now because I have my own space. There's no one to there's no one to barge in and like say go oh, get off like parents and things like that. So it is my own space. Um, I can do what I want. I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm um, ever since getting a job because I was working in a hospital. So all of my things like photography and even my drone flying went on the back burner for a good while. Um, because I, ju I just didn't have the time to do it, which, which was so bad. Like I hadn't touched my camera in for about five months, give or take. Um, and it was killing me. It was really killing me not to be able to go out and take photos. Because I was coming home, I know, about six o'clock, seven o'clock. And by the time I had you know dinner and tidying up everything it just going out with the camera was the last thing on my mind i just wanted to sit down but this new job this opportunity it is amazing uh because i'm also being able to work from home meaning that on breaks i can film a few clips i can do whatever and get back into being creative so i'm pretty happy about that i really miss being a creative um i miss making videos and i miss doing photography in general. Um, I was every so often, you know, taking out the phone and taking a quick snapshot, but nothing compares to holding the camera in your hand and getting that, get, getting the feel of the shutter, getting the feel of the lens in your hand, everything. So I'm, I'm pretty fortunate to be in the position I'm in now and I cannot wait for what the future holds and that wedding that I was talking about. So everything seems to be looking up. So thank you guys for watching this today. And if there's anything you want to know, if there's anything that you want me to do a video on, um, I would highly appreciate it if you just posted it below. Um, I do plan to try and make these a lot more frequent than I do now. So, but thank you guys for all the support and thank you guys for continuing to watch. And I will definitely see you guys in the next video. See you later.